try like a damn vampire. That is Olivia Rodrigo performing the number one single Vampire off of her new album Guts for a massive audience on our Today Plaza at Rockefeller Center on Friday morning. Rodrigo's first album is a tough act to follow, to put it mildly. Sour debuted in 2021 at number one and broke a Spotify streaming record for a female artist while going platinum three times over and earning the title of Rolling Stone's Album of the Year. Still a 17-year-old high school senior living at home when her hit debut single Driver's License was released, Rodrigo graduated overnight from young Disney actor to international pop star. Olivia and I got together on Friday for a Sunday sit down just minutes after she stepped off that stage. The party is just getting started for Olivia Rodrigo as she celebrates the release of her sophomore album. Congratulations on release day. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been a very exciting few hours. You draw quite a crowd, my friend. She's calling it Guts. These are my, my Guts rings. And the critics are calling Rodrigo a rock star. And Guts means what to you in the context of this album? It means a few things. It means courage. It means trusting your gut. I like spilling your guts, too. I feel like... There's some of that on this yeah, album. Yeah, I feel like every song I've ever written is sort of just me spilling my guts a little bit. Just 20 years old, the singing songwriting phenom has a talent for turning angst and heartbreak into hits. When you're sitting down spilling your guts in front of a piano, do you ever have any hesitation of like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't go this far, maybe I shouldn't tell this one? Yeah. <laughs> in the moment when I'm writing a song, I try not to censor myself too much or think about, you know, what people on the internet are going to say about it. If someone tells me one more time, enjoy your youth, I'm going to cry. People have had a lot to say about Rodrigo's music ever since she exploded onto the scene with her Grammy-winning debut album, Sour. It's brutal out of here. Rolling Stone called Sour Rodrigo's greatest hits album on her first try, highlighted by the five times platinum driver's license. I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. A poignant power ballad about marking a teenage milestone amid heartache. You said forever. With a bridge embraced by TikTok. And Saturday Night Live. See your face in the I was thinking back to January of 2021 when Driver's License came out. You're still a senior in high school. Mm -hmm. And then you wake up one morning and everybody knows your name. What, what's going through your mind? Honestly, a healthy level of dissociation goes a long way. Yes. I think, you know, you just can't really read into all of that too much. You kind of just have to put your horse blinders on and focus on what you can control. You have such a maturity in your songs about things like heartbreak and relationships. On Sour, you were 16, 17 years old writing these sort of sophisticated songs that I'm not sure most teenagers have thought through in that way or can articulate in the way that you have. Thanks. I mean, I've been writing songs since I could talk. I've always been doing it, written so many bad songs, got a lot of practice. But I, I, I really believe that really good songs kind of don't come from you, they kind of come through you, you know? It's, it's, it's kind of like something else. It's like a, a magical thing. The magic began in Southern California, where Rodrigo grew up with parents who played Alanis Morissette, Gwen Stefani, and the White Stripes in the house. Do you get deja vu? <laughs> Rodrigo first sat down at the piano at seven. By 12, she was writing songs. She did some acting too, but music Just a city boy. was her first love. Do you remember those first songs when you were 12? Yeah, it's so funny. I still have them on my phone, and I'm like, 
gosh, I was so angsty. I had such a perspective. I'd write all these like feminist songs about like all these like people that wronged me or like all these issues that I had. And I'm like, you're in sixth grade. Like what? What's going on? <laughs> Rodrigo since has sharpened the songwriting around that angst and proven herself a sharp businesswoman as well. When she signed her first record deal at just 17, she negotiated for ownership of the master recordings of her music. The label agreed, perhaps underestimating her potential. How did you have the instinct to do that? Because it has paid off in a way that other artists have, have struggled with. I think that I've been really lucky to be surrounded by people who really look after me and I've just really always wanted to have total creative control over everything that I do. It's just so freeing to be able to say whatever you want, express how you feel however you want and, you know, be in control of, of your life and career. I hate to give the satisfaction asking how you're doing now. On Guts, Rodrigo goes full pop punk. with Vampire. Why is it so important to you to not talk publicly about who or what exactly it's about? I think explanation is never good for <laughs> art. Why would I like pigeonhole a song into being about this one thing in my life when everyone has their own interpretation? It just makes me feel less alone in my feelings. You know, when I write the song about some specific instance that I felt this really strong way and then I look out into the crowd and I see some girl who felt the exact same way, it just makes me realize that, you know, we're all so much more alike than we are different. She has grown up during this whirlwind couple of years, but she's still having fun. The first album was very much about heartbreak. And I think this time around, I was just more thinking about the pressures of young adulthood and, you know, sort of the growing pains that come along with just turning 20. People have called you the voice of your generation. They've said that you've sort of captured what it means to be your age or close to your age in this moment in time. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, it's so, so crazy. Because you're just telling your own story, yeah. but it just so happens to reflect what a lot of people are going through. All I can do is be myself, I think, and write songs that I like, and I think the fact that people gravitate towards them is amazing. I'm pretty when I cry. And boy, do they gravitate. Olivia's new album, Guts, is available now wherever you get your music. Our thanks to our friends at the Peacock Lounge inside Rockefeller Center for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full extended interview with Olivia Rodrigo. There's a lot more in there for all you fans. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.